Hey guys, it's Ben here, and surprise, surprise, Liverpool have still not made a summer signing. Now, the Reds have been linked in recent weeks with Naby Keita, Virgil van Dijk, Mohamed Salah, Alex Oxley chamberlain This was supposed to be the summer where Liverpool turned it around. This was meant to be the close season which Liverpool had a £100 million budget, they were meant to make a statement, they're back in the Champions League, it's time to buy some real players, it's time to compete with City, Chelsea, Arsenal, United, Tottenham. And yet again, we're taking our time, we're playing hardball over a few million pounds, we're not getting in Klopp's number one targets. What, why do we have to behave like this? I understand that owners have valuations of players and we don't want to pay stupid money. Sometimes in this market, when it's this competitive, you have to overpay slightly to get the deal done. You have to pay a few million pounds more than you think that player's worth. If that player is your first choice, that's the player Jurgen Klopp has identified as a man that's going to improve his squad, you have to pay that money to get that player. If you want to pay 28 million for Salah and Roma want 40, and you wouldn't even go to 35, and you expect to be successful, it's just delusion from FSG. Pep Guardiola has told Man City's owners who he wants. He wanted Bernardo Silva, they went and got the deal done. He wanted Edison, they got the deal done. Manchester United, Lindelof, Looks like that's done. Last summer, they wanted Paul Pogba. It took £89 million, pounds, but they got it done. How often do you see Chelsea just swoop in and take a player when so many other clubs have been linked with them? Liverpool are back in the Champions League. This is their chance to push on and become serious title contenders. They're a huge club. They've got Jurgen Klopp as their manager. They've got a squad which challenged for the league last season up until the winter and was just three or four players short and ended up in a race for fourth. Virgil van Dijk wanted to sign for the Reds, but they fucked it up. They don't know how to conclude these big deals. They don't know their strategy. They didn't know what to leak to the press. They didn't know how to play it. They just want to save a few million here and there. If they had just let the Van Dyke saga play out, he wanted to join the Reds. All they had to do was make a bid and get it done. Not let it be leaked that he wants to join Liverpool and eliminate City and Chelsea and save that extra five or ten million and then risk losing the deal altogether. Because that's what they've done. They've tried to be too clever and they're trying to do it with Mohamed Salah too. Over a few million pounds. He's Klopp's number one target in that wide position. Naby Keita is a man Klopp wants in midfield. Why? Why aren't they backing the manager like they're supposed to be doing? This is the best manager Liverpool have had since Rafa Benitez, yet he's not being backed in an era in the Premier League where you need to back your manager, you need to spend big. We've been here before with Clint Dempsey, trying to save a few million pounds and get him stung. We've been here with ticket prices, they just can't get it right. It's all about making that extra couple of million. If you go and win the Premier League and you go and be successful in Europe, you'll make more than a couple of million. You wonder why the fans are so quiet at Anfield. Every time we take a step forward, we take two steps back. Why has it become so typical of Liverpool to have some form of success, to make the top four, it's not the title, it's not the trophy, but it's better than what we've been used to. Why do you have to ruin that by just embarrassing ourselves? Why do we keep embarrassing ourselves when we try and play with the big boys? Even now, there's still a chance that we can sign Van Dijk. There's a very good chance we can sign Salah. And you know what? We've got a pretty free run at Naby Keita. You don't need to buy a goalkeeper. Left back, you can get someone that's okay. You don't need to spend 40 million on Benjamin Mendy. You just need another option there. We want Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Why has that taken so long? That deal was supposed to have been almost done a couple of months ago. Now it looks like he's going to sign a new contract at Arsenal. Why haven't we pushed for that if he's the player Klopp wants? How many names are there that Liverpool have been linked with, Liverpool have been desperate to sign? Willian, Mkhitaryan, Diego Costa, Conor Planka, even Dempsey. We just never close the deals. We never close the big deals that could be the difference. In January, we wanted Julian Brandt, we wanted Christian Pulisic. If we'd have just signed one or two players in January, we could have been back in the title race. It's always about saving money. It's always about a couple of million quid. If Liverpool want to be one of the big boys again, they need to start acting like it. Manchester United didn't want to pay 89 million for Paul Pogba, but they had no choice. They made that decision. They won two trophies. They're back in the Champions League. Paul Pogba had a pretty good season for all the stick he gets for his price tag. Without Pogba, they'd have been a lot worse. Without Zlatan, who they had to fork out huge wages for, they'd have been miles worse. Last summer, Chelsea identified what they needed. They needed N'Golo Kante, they needed that midfield showing up, and they got that deal done so quickly. And that was the deal. Did they overpay? Maybe. That was the deal that won them a title. Now, I'm not writing Liverpool off just yet, but we, we need to act fast. Pre-season will start in a few weeks. At the start of August, you need to have that squad in place. You don't want to be signing players on August the 31st, taking them time to settle into the squad. Teams were already out of the title race before the season barely even started last season. Arsenal weren't ready. They were cast aside by Liverpool on the first day and they could win for a few games and they were gone. Now, Liverpool are risking that by not getting the deals done now. It sends out the wrong message to players that want to come. Now, I hope I'm wrong. I hope Mohamed and Salah signs, I hope the Van Dijk deal can be resurrected, or if not, I hope there's a good plan B. Who is the alternative? Because we've seen how bad Liverpool can be at the plan B. We missed out on Alexis Sanchez in 2014 when we didn't go about the business properly. Ended up with Balotelli. Michael Edwards is supposed to be world class. 
We're not seeing that now. We're a laughing stock. We need to change that. We need to compete for the title this season while we've got the chance. And that means spending money fast. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And I hope Liverpool pulled a finger out of their pocket. Please do subscribe to me for more of this sort of stuff. Like the video, share it. Leave a comment with how you think Liverpool's summer will fare compared to everyone else's. And what you think of FSG and how they're going about their business this summer so far. Follow me at Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.